welcome back today we are doing something completely different on the channel compared to anything that I've done previously we are doing a hair tutorial specifically my color and my curls and I get my color using the amazing Joico color intensity semi-permanent color in magenta this is what I used to get this color and I get comments on my hair everywhere I go it's kind of become like my signature hair color and I love it it's a fantastic vibrant beautiful beautiful color nice deep rich tone and it fades out really really nicely too so um, stay tuned to find out exactly how you can do this yourself at home get this kind of color and I'll show you how I do my curls as well stay tuned Okay, so I have got freshly washed hair and dried. It is literally like just shampooed, no conditioner, no leave-in, anything, no heat protector, anything, because I want my hair as clean as possible so that it soaks up as much of the dye as possible. Um, I did wash in warm water today, not super hot, but warm. I usually wash in cold water just to keep the color lasting longer. Um, it keeps the um, hair shaft, the follicle, the cuticle, whatever you want to call it, closed um, to keep the color in and it prevents the bleeding of the color because what I use is not a permanent color. It's a semi-permanent and they wash out in about four to six weeks depending on what you use. So um, in order to keep that color as vibrant and um, nice as possible, I wash in cold water and I wash my hair as little as possible. Little secret, I probably only wash my hair on average about once a week, maybe twice depending on what's going on in the week. Um, but I usually only wash it once a week um, at any given time during that week. There's like a half a bottle of dry shampoo in my hair, but nobody knows except for now I've told you all. Um, I also wanted to kind of fade it out a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can tell in this light, lovely bathroom lighting that it is. Um, the ends are obviously lighter and that will happen because um, they get drier and um, that's what starts to lose the color um, the fastest but um, they are still pretty vibrant but they are lighter than even like mid up here. Obviously this up here is my regrowth so that doesn't count but they are lighter and um, I'm actually going for that. Um, I've been dyeing my hair with these semi-permanent since about spring. Um, I started out with Manic Panic uh, because I knew that that would um, fade the fastest and so just for a quick trial I figured you know I'll use something that I know is going to be able to fade or if I don't like it I can just wash it out and it'll kind of be like nothing ever happened. You should have pre-lightened hair or blonde hair. Um, I am not that adventurous. I am adventurous with my hair and I have dyed my own hair for years. I've used box dyes and whatever. Um, permanent, non-permanent colors, whatever. Um, I'm adventurous with my hair, but I'm not adventurous enough to bleach my own hair. I have very fine hair and um, it probably wouldn't take much to just fry it and I don't want that. My best friend, um, I had previously had like blonde streaks and stuff and she was the one that was doing, she's a stylist, she's over at Rock It Out Salon, go check her out, it's uh, Kate Slemko, she's awesome. Um, just a little plug. <laughs> but um, she was was dyeing my hair blonde, so, and it wasn't, it wasn't solid blonde, um, but I had a lot of various blonde highlights, um, so it was easy for me to just go in with the semi-permanent over top of the blonde because it was already pre-lightened. So you do want to do these over pre-lightened hair if you're the first time doesn't always stay the best. Your hair's not used to it and all of that and um, your hair just isn't isn't filled. It's still porous and all of that so it's just not not as saturated with um, the dye as it, it could be. Um, the more I've been doing this, the longer I've been doing it, the longer it's been staying. I started out with the Manic Panic um, Ultraviolet and that didn't last and the purple was a little bit off from what I wanted. Um, so then I grabbed, um, the next time I did it, which was only like two weeks, um, I grabbed the Manic Panic Hot Pink and I mixed the two and I made a really, really, really pretty magenta. I loved it. Um, 
lasted for about four weeks um because that's and i didn't use the manic panic amplified i just did the regular manic panic in the the jars and then i was like okay like i need to do something i happened to be going and seeing kate for like a a touch-up um, for cut and all that because my hair was shorter at the time and had more layers um, so she put some more blonde highlights through um, so that it would pick up the the colors more and we did um, Joyco color intensity pink I believe I don't know if it was pink or hot pink that she did but either way um, it was pink I had like pink hair it was amazing um, and she used the Joyco and it lasted like six weeks minimum again that's with like washing like one to two week or one to two times per week um and washing in cold water don't think i'd retouched it until eight or more weeks i mean the pink was fun but i did prefer the magenta like the deeper more rich tones and then as it fades it still stays richer too um the pink was lighter in uh the first place so it it faded more it ended up being like a really nice like um kind of medium softer pink like almost cotton candy um but i wanted like the really rich deep tone so i went back to magenta i used up the uh manic panic ultraviolet and hot pink that i had um i touched that up whole head and whatever um a couple of times to use up the product that i had and um, yeah, it, I was finding it just wasn't lasting as long as when she had done the pink. And I attributed it to the Joyco. So I used up all of my Manic Paddock product and I switched over to Joyco at home. And that is what I use now. And Joyco actually has a magenta. I don't need to mix colors as fun as that was um it was a bit of a pain in the butt because he didn't always get the exact same tone right so joyco has magenta this is actually the tube that i'm going to use right now but just in the last couple of months i did a full head application with this and then the last time i touched it up about six weeks ago um i just did the regrowth and blended it down so and i still have just under half a tube so i'm hoping that this time i will be able to just use up the rest of this tube and i don't have to um open up the new tube yet but i have it here ready and handy in case I do need it. So I just want to darken this up, cover the regrowth and blend it out. And I'm not gonna do the ends. So this is the second time I am not doing the ends in the full head application. Um, <laughs> I suggest if you are doing this at home for like a first time or not very many times like under your belt sort of thing, wear a shirt you don't care about just in case. Um, I've also got my vanity covered in a towel that I don't care about. I've got the floor covered in a towel that I don't care about. You'd think I was messy. <laughs> um, I tend to be fairly clean with this, but sometimes you just never know. Things can drip. Just better to be safe than sorry, especially when you're using like super highly pigmented colors like this. So I've got my work surface ready. I've got everything I need. I've got my two tubes. Hopefully I won't need to open this one. Um, got my gloves and I've got some clips and, um, and a comb. Um, okay, so I usually start, it's going to get staticky here with the gloves. I usually start with um, the hairline because um, that's where I need the color the most. I'm just going to go right in, put some color, just a little bit, right on my fingers. And then I'm just going to kind of rub it into, well not rub because I want as little on my scalp as possible. Um, the first time I did the purple, oh my God, I had like, it was everywhere. Um, and this stains your skin differently than like say a box dye of permanent color. So but yeah, I had like glowing purple scalp for I don't know how long. Um, I had to wipe my ears and my hairline and my forehead and it was just a mess. And I mean, it's not like I was like super sloppy with the application, but um, yeah, it was certainly something to get used to um, compared to the type of hair dyes I had used prior. If it's your first time using this stuff, um, 
I would suggest, and what I did the first time too, um, I would suggest covering your hairline, um, like around your hairline, your ears, the back of your neck, uh, with Vaseline to protect it. That's what I did um, the very first time, and I still made a mess. But, I mean, it was mainly in my scalp, but um, if I hadn't used the Vaseline, I would have looked like something out of Avatar, except for purple, obviously, instead of blue. So I'm just going to go through and get it into like the hairline first. Yeah. Makeup wipes that I use um, actually do a really good job of taking off the excess dye off my skin. Yeah, so that is the hairline done. Now I can just kind of go through, I'm just gonna pull sections, little sections, starting at the front still, and just get a little bit, like the same amount kind of thing, but I'm just going to rub it between my fingers a little bit and then just kind of sandwich my hair in between my fingers and just rub it in, concentrating mostly on the regrowth and then kind of blend it out, but I'm leaving the ends, or if I do get anything on the ends, it's like super minimal. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this all over my entire head. I like doing it this way too, because again, you get more of the ombre effect and it uses less product. So um, I'm always a fan of using less product and making things last a little bit longer. This, These tubes that I bought, I actually got at Chatters here in Edmonton, um, and I got them on sale. They were on sale at the time. Um, buy two, get one free. And they were like 11 something a piece. Um, so I got two magentas and a hot pink, just in case I wanna change things up or mix things up or whatever. Um, and I am still on my first tube of magenta from that purchase. So not too shabby. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my whole head like that. And I won't bore you guys with that. So uh, I will check out for now and I'll be back to show you what it all looks like when it's all done. Okay, so done. I'm looking like some sort of like um, crazy punk Medusa, but that's okay. Um, so as you can see, I've got it like all throughout the regrowth and the base. Um, and same thing in the back. Not as picky with the back because you don't see it as much anyways. And you can see that the ends are still all left. They're dry. I haven't touched them. So I'm going to throw a couple of clips in here to keep it out of my face and off of my shoulders. Then I will leave it for mm, however long. I mean, there's absolutely no harm. There's no developer or anything in this. So um, it's not gonna wreck your hair no matter how long you leave it in. I like to leave it in as much as possible. I think the uh, tube suggests 20 minutes or something like that. Um, you can, I suppose, apply heat as well. Um, like cover it with a shower cap or a bag or something and then just apply some minor heat with your blow dryer. Um, I have done that on occasion. That's better. I have done that on occasion um, if I don't have time to leave it in for however many hours. It just kind of, again, opens up the hair follicles and um, gets the color in there better, but uh, because there's no developer in it. Again, I don't know 
if it really makes a difference. There's still a tiny little bit left in this tube. I didn't use the whole thing. So score um, that is lasting a really long time. Talk about getting your money's worth, right? These are what I use to wash my face, the Burt's Bees um, Pink Grapefruit. I love them. Um, this is for normal to oily skin. I have combination skin, so um, that's what I use. But I found that these actually do a pretty darn good job of removing any uh, excess color. So yeah, less than $10 a tube and I've made that one tube now last three applications. So, and I still have two whole tubes left. Granted, one is a pink. So yeah, you can see that does a really good job of cleaning off the extra color. So I'm gonna leave this and rinse it out and I will check back with you guys once it's all rinsed. I will warn you if you are doing it at home, especially a color like this, it is like a bloodbath when you rinse it out. Um, it The color goes everywhere. First time with this color, um, I have a white tub surround. First time with this color, it was like a Muppet Massacre, let me tell you. And my tub was like stained hot pink. Um, however, um, scrubbing bubbles or fantastic or any sort of that bathroom spray with bleach it'll take it right off you can't even tell that I dye my hair all the time now I'm gonna leave this and then I'm going to rinse it out and I will check back with you guys once it's all rinsed out okay I'm back so it is all rinsed out and this is what we have got I haven't dried it yet um, as you can see but this is what it looks like so far um, I rinsed, I didn't shampoo, obviously you don't want to shampoo it right away because it just wash out what you just put in. Um, and when I rinse, um, and anytime I shampoo, I always like to use, um, my custom color conditioner. This is what mine looks like. Um, I can't remember the type of conditioner that's in here, but it's a usual color safe sulfate, sulfate free conditioner. And I have just added, um, my color from the tubes um, directly in here. I like to use a color conditioner with this because it just keeps the colors brighter and lasting longer because um, it just deposits a little bit more of the hair color every time you condition after you wash. I followed it up with um, my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I just concentrate it mostly throughout the ends and then rub the rest of what's on my hands um, through the rest of my hair. Um, it's a smoothing and conditioning serum. Um, also works as a heat protectant, so that's always good, especially with these um, semi-permanents, because any sort of heat can can help them lose their color as well and their vibrancy. So I am going to go ahead and blow dry, and um, I'll be back. So we are all dry, and it's looking fantastic. I love it. The ends did get a little bit darker, um, just because while rinsing and stuff, it does pick up. I mean, the water is super, super, super dark and uh, very deep magenta. So I mean, as it's rinsing um, out of the ends and stuff from the base, it is going to pick up a little bit of pigment, um, but that'll wash out right away too because there's so little that that hit it. the like deep rich color that I get in through the top where the regrowth in my natural is um, and even some throughout here terrible bathroom lighting um, even some throughout here in the bottom where I have less highlights underneath so it all looks really really cool especially once I curl it which is what I'm gonna do now Let's pull this all back and click that up and out of the way. Go. And I always curl away from my face. I'm just using a flat iron. Flip over once and pull it through. And I don't like the curls to be too tight, so I kind of just pull them out and relax them right away. 
Now, this is where I'm going to try something actually a little bit different than what I normally do. I usually do all of my curls away from my face, so this half of my head away from my face this way, and this half of my head away from my face this way, but I actually just watched it as just a, a tutorial to actually alternate the direction of the curls so that they don't just all kind of glom together and just become like one massive wave which is what I've been doing and I do notice that it happens but I'm actually going to see what happens if I alternate direction so I'm going to do the one that's towards the front of my face the most though the same way I usually do away flip over once and curl it, pull it through and then few straight pieces that are left back here. Last section, I'm going to do this way. Next section. Okay, so I did that one that way. I'm going to attempt again to do an opposite direction on this side. But because my hair is fine too, I can sometimes get, that's better, um, the sections of my hair too big for curling. And then it, um, again, it doesn't hold. So I'm trying to keep the sections slightly smaller, not as thick, maybe. but you want to make sure that regardless the very front of your face or the hair around the very front of your face is always curled away from your face. You don't want anything like curling in. I like it. And I can see that they're not just kind of glomming together now. So um, this is good. I'm going to continue and uh, finish up my whole head and I'll be back. Okay, so it's all curled. Um, it's different from what I normally get um, with alternating the curls. There's definitely more volume, um, but I can see that um, the curls aren't just kind of conforming into, you know, like giant curls and waves so that's kind of good the back is okay <laughs> um but we'll see how it goes throughout the week and sleeping on it and how it lasts because like i said i curl my hair like right as soon as i wash it and then i just like sleep on it and stuff and it lasts the week and kind of relaxes and so we'll see how um this pans out throughout the week. Uh, you can see my hands are a little bit pink, especially this one. It's just because I just like just dyed it and I'm like running my hands through my hair. Obviously, um, you're not gonna get all of the dye out um, when you first rinse, but um, yeah, we will see how that goes. And um, one other thing I will mention, um, dry shampoo is going to be your best friend when you have color like this. This is, I think, probably the only reason, really, that I can go a week without washing my hair. This is a godsend, and this is my favorite brand. Um, you can get it at Shoppers, usually on sale, fairly cheap. This isn't my favorite scent. This is just the original scent. I prefer the tropical scent, but um, this last time I got this at Costco. Little mini travel one or emergency if you run out of these before you get more full size. Um, so it comes with two of these and one of these um, in a package and it's like $20 or something like that for all three of those cans. Um, so pretty good deal. So that's why I have the original scent. Um, Costco just doesn't bring in any other scents. Um, do it at night before you go to bed and then that way it prevents the grease and the oil from eat, building up in the first place um, and you always end up getting like a white haze dull kind of residue. Um, when you do it before you go to bed at night that doesn't matter. When you wake up your hair is not greasy and that 
white residue has all absorbed in and absorbed the grease and you're good to go. Run your fingers through it, run a brush through it, slap on some makeup and you're good to go in the morning. So that tip is actually also from my best friend, um, Kate, my hairstylist. And I do it every night. So by the end of the week, um, there's a lot of this, like I said, like a half a can of dry shampoo in my hair <laughs> at any given time towards the end of the week. But it looks fine, it keeps this color fantastic. And um, I'm not washing my hair all the time and going crazy because washing your hair too much isn't good for your hair anyways. So those are my tips for keeping color like this. I will um, get in some better lighting and um, you guys can see this um, for what it really is. I'll put together and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here's the hair. Truth be told, it's actually the next day. I've actually slept on this. I put some um, dry shampoo in it last night, um, like I was talking about in the previous section of this video. And I have slept on it and put some hairspray in it, fluffed it up a little bit, textured it a little bit, and this is it. The color is all refreshed and I am loving it. And obviously I have put on some makeup so you guys can see the whole look, hair and everything done and how it looks. And hopefully the video was helpful for you to see how to apply that color um, if you're trying to do that at home yourself or wondering how difficult it is. It really is not difficult at all. So this should last me a good like six weeks depending on how much I have to wash my hair. Um, and the curls, because I did that other, I did the alternating direction for the curls. Um, it, it turned out, I like, there's more volume, and especially after like I've slept on this. So there is more volume, and I don't just have like kind of one big conformed curl on either side of my head. So I like it, I'm probably gonna keep on Doing that. If you want to see how I created this look, I literally just filmed this look and this tutorial. So I will get that edited and get that up on the channel soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, Take guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I'm getting really close to the camera. My hair is sticking to my face right now. Whoops, got my ear. Not going to worry about that. So yeah, haha, <laughs> fun, hey? Uh, this is the other one, but, um, oops. That's gonna look good now, later. Yeah, I might have to deal with that sooner rather than later. Just cause it's like in the middle of my forehead, I can't cover that. And besides, I probably won't get a chance to, I, Um, I just have to think about this this way. So this is gonna go this way, flip once. Oops. Ooh, where'd that one come from? And which way do you go? I don't know. Any more, you sneaky suckers?